Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing our look at the mobile applications for Acer Store NAS systems. We're going to continue using this Google Pixel 2 XL for today's apps but of course they are available for both iOS and Android devices. On top of that we are using the new Locker Store 4 but this app is readily available for largely the entire Acer Store family of devices. Today we're going to do a bit of a tricksy video. We are looking at AI music and if you didn't already know that after looking at the thumbnail then uh, you know that's your fault not mine but what i will say straight off the bat is thanks to youtube's uh, copyright policies and lots of tripwires along the way it does make this video exceptionally hard because i'm not really going to be able to play any music if i play music the copyright bots can rip down a video very very quickly and even if i disable any kind of monetization it can be problematic so throughout this video unfortunately we're not really going to play music or if we do play it we're not going to be able to have the audio on at any point but hopefully that will still not inhibit your idea of just what this app can do so as you can see here i've already logged into this nas now um, when you do open up the app for the first time it's completely free to download it will invite you to search your local area network for a network attached storage device i've already enabled my locker store for there and uh, at the moment, we're able to see my local uh, phone albums here. If we go to the bottom there, we can go straight into the app. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that you can utilize this application to just enjoy music on your phone. You don't need to utilize it if you have a NAS or not. So, for example, um, on my Pixel 2 XL um, album here. So, if we go into Artist, for example, here, we can see that I've got lots of albums here from different artists. Some of which, it has to be said... Um, it's just individual songs in playlists. I've got lots of movie and game soundtracks here that I work to. Uh, but the thumbnail scraping's already taken place there in the background. So, for example, down here we can see albums here from different music there. And we've got some of the thumbnails. And all of these are on my local phone device. Um, and again, we can get information about these if we so choose. And we can share them, save them to playlists and stuff like that locally on the device utilising this app. But let's face it, you didn't come here to look at the features of this uh, application with regards to my local device. You wanted to see the NAS side of things. So as you see from the top of the screen there, there is the identity of the NAS. And some of that thumbnail information is uh, carried over. But of course, all of this is largely dependent on the albums you choose to use. And if we go through it, we can have a little look at the home tab there. And it will go through albums that have been added there. As you see, the Oasis album has been added. We've not played anything, so the most played list is obviously not going to show anything at the moment. And we can go ahead and filter through a number of those results quite easily. So we can go through with genres if we choose, and different stuff comes under different genres there. So for example, the, the, the genre there, showing some of them there. And it also pulls these from the listing and track information of the songs themselves if you go into the information of individual files and again you can download files locally if you don't want to have to stream them or you can go ahead and play them directly from the nas over the local area network now remember that we are dealing with files that are on the nas system itself we're not dealing with files you know on my localized device so it's been very very responsive so for example this is the soundtrack from batman arkham city and unfortunately i'm not going to be able to allow the soundtrack to be played there in the background we can see the file we can find out information about it download it add it to a playlist and more and if i go ahead and click play on the file And of course, I've had to mute that file there for you guys there. I've just left it playing there, but unfortunately, you wouldn't have been able to hear anything about it. But as you can see, we've got the file playing there. We can flick between uh, all the way through it. We can go ahead and check some of the rating systems. If, the, if there are lyric downloads, they're available there. We've got the playlist options, everything you would expect, the ability to share the file, the ability to edit some of the background information about the file, download it, and of course, we can stream it to localized devices as well if we choose. We can see that the file is still playing there. If we click back, we can see at the bottom of the screen that that file is still indeed it is playing there. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and pause that file and come out of it. So again, 
that you can play files quite readily and easily there. And again, we can filter by all of those different um, systems. So again, you can break all the way down to individual folders and directories on the NAS. So you don't have to be limited to just the ones that it's scraping. If you go into the music application, um, I believe sounds good on the Acer Store uh, application, on the desktop profile anyway, you can select folders that this app can access, but there's lots of other background things that this application can do. So if we go into the settings here of the NAS, we can see lots of background control options readily available to us. So you can um, have a synchronized folder if you choose. You can say whether you want the app to run for a given period before turning itself off, whether you want it to run in the background, whether you want to you want to utilize Shake It functionality where you can play, skip, and more utilizing um, the Shake It functionality. You can say which audio formats you're prepared to play back, either automatically or preset. You can change playback modes, whether you want some of the, the actions of the app to change, change some of the security information about how to log into the device, and more and there is the full breakdown of instructions on how to utilize this application it's all pretty straightforward and all pretty easy indeed and again you can manage your um, NAS is quite easy there if you've got multiple NASs in your local area network to flick between and again lots of files functionality and options are all readily available to us here and again we can find out information about the files quite quickly and play via a file folder level or some of the playlist options and functionality. So say we want to create a brand new playlist, we'll call this playlist test one. Say whether we want it to be linked to all users on the NAS, just me or just linked to the account if multiple users use the same account. We save that playlist. We can then add files and folders to that playlist if we choose. Quite straightforward and easy. And again, nice and easy to create multiple options. If we go into the All Songs tab, we'll arbitrarily select a song. This is one from the game Alien Trilogy. Add to a queue, or alternatively, we can always save the playlist. There's test one, and boom, we've saved that to the playlist. It's that straightforward. And this allows you to enjoy your music on the fly, whether you want to download individual uh, music files to your phone uh, via the app, and again, the files that you download via the app can be played via any of the music applications on your phone. But if you want to enjoy it and stream files from the NAS, this is a great way to do it. I wish I was able to play more files for you, but unfortunately that's just not going to be possible here. But that's ultimately it. It's a nice straightforward application that allows you to browse through the multimedia in audio on your NAS and enjoy them here. Now... Is it perfect? I believe it is. I think it has all the features and functionality that you're going to need. You can switch whether you want um, the playback mode to change. If you do have a NAS with audio functionality and audio speakers connected, you can control music on your NAS and output music from the NAS to an audio connected HDMI output system, which is a quite a cool feature that very, very few NAS systems have. On top of that, you can choose whether you want to be able to stream and cast files to different devices. And there's not much more you're going to need. A lot of people buy network attached storage devices so they can move away from Google Music, from I, um, uh, iTunes and more. And effectively have their own music album at their fingertips streaming from their NAS and not third party cloud. And this application does a very, very good, good job of that. But I'm going to wrap things up here. This has been my overview of AI Music from Acer Store based on the Locker Store 4. Click like if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Click subscribe if you want to learn more about some of these applications available for iOS and Android on NAS. And do visit the links in the description to Span.com and NAS Compares to learn more about NAS, to get hold of a NAS, and to get lots of tech support for free for your NAS. Otherwise, I will see you next time.